Okay, the, um, there's a, a foreign uh, dimension uh, to this issue. As alerts were obviously issued uh, by foreign countries uh, with missions here uh, in Nigeria. Uh, now, the um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, as well as uh, the um, Nigerian Intelligence uh, Agency, have been working very closely uh, and um, to uh, fully um, get on top of the situation, uh, but also to engage uh, with our foreign partners. Um, first of all, to mitigate uh, and um, blunt any threat uh, that there could be from outside uh, the country, but um, also working with and engaging with the foreign missions uh, within uh, the country uh, to ensure that um, whatever we do, whatever we say, um, is constructive. And, um, and, and, and should not uh, in any way uh, cause unnecessary uh, alarm and in any way destabilize uh, the country. So uh, just to reassure um, the, uh, the, the country that uh, we are in full engagement uh, with uh, foreign partners uh, and, that, uh, and that the security, uh, our national uh, our security um, personnel and agencies uh, are fully on top uh, of, the, of the situation and that they're really, uh, as they have said, uh, there's really no cause for alarm. And uh, we want to push more for greater coordination and synergy uh, with uh, also our foreign partners and, uh, and, uh, and, and make sure that that uh, cooperation with them uh, is a constructive one and not an alarmist one. Thank you. Um, okay, thank you very much. Uh, first question first. Um, is it the norm uh, for the U.S. to make uh, uh, such a, a, a pronouncement? Now, we engaged the U.S. on this, um, and their response was that they are obliged to put out uh, those kinds of statements, normally travel advisories, but in this case it was an alert, but they said that they are obliged to for their citizens and that the advice, you know, uh, well, uh, the alert was really uh, for their citizens, that they do it around the world. As you know, they did it also in South Africa uh, in this particular case. Um, but of course, we are used to US travel alerts, I mean, uh, travel advisories, uh, as the DJ uh, NIA drew that distinction between the two. And so they said for them, it's a constitutional uh, uh, obligation. Uh, so, so that's 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 their their position, and um, of course, on our side, um, coming to the next question from our eyes about coordination and how. But this also, I think, answers the first question and the second question. Um, we we want to ordinarily would have liked to be have been able to coordinate uh, with them because, as you can see, a lot of panic has been spread. So you have to look at the the purpose. Of, of this kind of uh, uh, an announcement. And then you also have to look at intelligence sharing and you know, the best use of, you can make of you know, um, shared intelligence you know, and, and strike that balance. So the coordination uh, we am talking about is, um, is about messaging, you know, uh, how you get the message across, the narratives that we, we put out there and, uh, and, uh, and also while at the same time, um, you know, uh, reassuring, uh, you know, other foreign missions and so forth of the steps that are being taken by our security services uh, and so forth. So in other words, the coordination we look at, we look at it as we should all be on the same side. These are our partners. We should all be working together to address common threats and common challenges and to, to do that effectively. And I think coming back to that first question, you know, we don't want to take each other by surprise because then we begin to defeat the purpose, you know, of the whole uh, exercise. Um, you, third question was about which foreign partners um, are we working, uh, working with? Uh, all the foreign partners, all the missions that are represented here in Nigeria to start with because we as a country have the prime uh, responsibility to safeguard. Uh, the diplomats uh, who are residing uh, in our country and to ensure their security. And um, so, so we have to engage with uh, all these foreign partners. And um, also, 
with the security threats that we face as a country, we have a lot of partners that are working with us to address those security challenges, you know, um, right across the, the, the country. So we, 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 so it's really all our friends, uh, essentially, that we are working with there, all our uh, foreign partners in this case. On the issue of British Airways, my understanding actually is that, th that those flights were not because of the alerts that, uh, or that particular flight was not um, diverted to Lagos or cancelled because of the alert, but it had been done before. And a lot of it has to do with, as you know, the ongoing issue with foreign airlines. So it's in that context and not in the context of uh, security alert to my knowledge, to, and uh, I understand this is, 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 is the case. And of course, uh, then the fifth question was what kind of cooperation um, are we talking about uh, with the US? As you know, the US is a partner uh, in the fight against uh, terrorism, and uh, so our cooperation with the US uh, is, um, is very comprehensive and uh, very cross-cutting, you know? So, um, the, 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 there's all kinds of cooperation. It, it really is comprehensive. Our cooperation with uh, with, with the U.S. and uh, and and it's you know it's a cooperation that we that we value, and that we will um, and that we should uh, uh, present uh, uh, continue to uh, to promote. And um, you know uh, what uh, um, engagement uh, uh, is it specifically? I think I've sort of you know uh, answered that. Uh, as well, you know, the level of our engagement is uh, across the board, you know, um, right up from, you know, um, sharing intelligence, uh, we, we engage on that, and, um, and the emphasis that we should put uh, in different uh, areas. And, uh, but ultimately, as I said, uh, the, it's also important not to create panic um, within the country, as I mentioned uh, earlier, that is the messaging. And, uh, and so for us to, to, to work together, not to defeat the purpose of what we're trying to achieve, uh, which is uh, full security in our country, and for all of us to work towards that with our partners and with ourselves, and not to work at cross purposes. And of course, creating panic uh, in our country uh, will have all kinds of multiplier effects, you know, and, uh, and especially if we feel that the intelligence does not also warrant that. So, um, so this is it, thank you.